Hey there guys, welcome back to my movie review series. So, those of you who have heard, I reviewed Cars 1. So today I'm going to review Cars 2. So this movie came out in 2011. My mother took me to see this movie when I was like around 5 years old. Yeah, yeah, you already know my birthday and whatever. This This film came out on June 24th, unfortunately... I couldn't see it on its release date because I remember it was sold out. So I saw the movie three days after its release. So there are a few things I like about this movie and a few things I don't like about this movie. So let's get on with the positives. Now, the animation, I, I gotta say, it really improved from the first movie. For a movie that came out in 2011... The animation is just amazing. I kind of find the animation a little better than uh, modern day movies now. Please, no hate comments on that. I'm sorry. Alright, let's talk about some of the casting choices. So, there are a few new characters like um, Michael Caine as Finn McMissile. I think he did a great job as him. To be honest, I really like... Um, spy movies like have you ever seen 007 i i actually love that series so finn mcmissile is kind of like james bond and he has the same vehicle as james bond so i thought that was clever but there are a few problems i have about this movie but i'll get on to that later so the opening scene where finn mcmissile is like sneaking into the, like this oil rig and he figured out that his partner was compact into a cube. And it turns out his partner actually died in that fatal accident. So Fimic Missile starts going on a rampage with guns. And all the lemons were like, get him! Get him before it's too late! So he starts fighting all this, um, all these lemons. And then there was like a chase and there was like a whole thing. And to be honest, I actually really liked that opening scene. I thought it was pretty cool. And especially when um, Finn McMissile was cornered and he pulls his, he pulls himself in reverse and he falls in the water. And I actually thought he was going to um, kill himself, but it turns out he didn't kill himself. He just went underwater, turned into a speedboat and got away. Halfly got away. Well, he did get away, but I'll get with on that later. So, he turns into a speedboat, and Grem and the Acer get on these boats and follow Finn McMissile down. So, Finn McMissile is dodging all these bullets and cannons and stuff like that. And then, the final blow, it literally hits Finn McMissile on the back of him, but it really didn't hurt him. He just faked his own death. And then he just escapes in the submarine, and the and the lemons thought that they killed him off. So, that was a really interesting um beginning, and I actually really loved it. And then we go back to Radiator, we go back to Radiator Springs from the first movie, and it shows Mater helping out this um this beat up car, and Lightning McQueen was back from winning a Piston Cup. Congratulations to him! I'm really happy. And then it turns out Doc Hudson was not alive anymore. R.I.P. Paul Newman. Yeah. And it turns out they um, renamed the Piston Cup to the Hudson Hornet P Piston Cup. And I thought that was beautiful how they remember Paul Newman and remember Doc Hudson. And I thought that was a genius choice from Pixar. And... And then um, Lightning and Mater are starting to have fun. And I thought that those scenes were actually pretty funny. Like the first movie. Like the first movie. Like for an example, Lightning and Mater take off their tires. And then they're down this like, um, they're down on like a train track. And then they go down. And then they actually thought that train was coming for them. But it was kind of like Lizzie on a car. I really don't know who it is, but I think it was Lizzie. Yeah, the old black car, and then she just um, goes um, past Lightning and Mater. Like, she was literally laughing like, I don't know what she did, but, but she she was pretty funny in that scene. And then they, they scare this um, dump truck, and then the dump truck falls and tips over like the tractors, 
but he literally has this pipe and it literally blows lightning and Mater half a mile away. So after when Mater and Lightning had their fun, Lightning told Mater that he'd be going on a date with Sally. And he thought that he was going to take Mater along. But unfortunately, Mater didn't know that it was just going to be um, him and Sally. So Mater was devastated and he was just sad and he felt lonely. So he disguises himself as a waiter. Mater the waiter. <laughs> I thought that part was pretty funny. But he really uh, disguised himself as a waitress just so he can hang out with Lightning and Sally. And then um, they get this phone call from a from Sir Miles Axelrod. He was like this um, rich car who invented all in all, who makes one of the best races, World Grand Prix. And he invites all the cars all around the world, like Francesco Brunulli, um, Nigel Gearsley, um, Rip Klunchkowski, Shu Todoroki, and many more like that. And and then Francesco literally has like a conversation with Mater on a phone call. And Francesco literally hurt Mater's feelings and Lightning decided to stand up for his best friend. And then F Francesco starts taunting Lightning McQueen saying, Ooh, I think I'm faster than Lightning. And Lightning literally roasts him up by saying, Oh, those are some strong words for a car that's fragile. Fragile! He calls a Jeff Fresco fragile. That's not so fast of a queen. <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty funny scene. I, I couldn't stop laughing from that. That was pretty funny. So, Mater never went on any races with Lightning. So, Lightning decides to um, invite Mater to come see the world with him. And I thought that was sweet from Lightning. That's a great friend from him. So, he takes Mater on to Japan. But first... Lightning got a new makeover, and to be honest, I do like Lightning's update. He looked pretty cool. Kachow. And he got brand new headlights, and I thought it was so advanced and really cool. It was just awesome. So when they get to Japan, everyone was impressed and saw how beautiful it was. Mater was like, ooh, pistachio ice cream. And then all of a sudden he literally burns his mouth on the wasabi and he literally runs to like this waterfall thingy and <laughs> that was pretty funny. Don't get me wrong. I actually really love that scene. And Finn McMissile meets this like new high tech car named Holly Shiftwell. She kind of looked like um, Sally a little bit when I was very young. Not, not, not a lot, but not... Sorry, I keep stuttering. I'm sorry. Um, I thought that Sally looked like Holly Sheftwell a little bit when I was young. Not by much, but a little bit. So, Holly Sheftwell um, was also a secret agent, and she teamed up with Finn McMissile to go um, hunt down the Lemons and Professor Zundap. So, they go ahead and do that, and then... Um, Another American agent meets Mater, but he was later killed off in the movie, and I thought it was kind of sad how Rod Redline only got like five, something, seven minutes of screen time, I think. I, I kind of wish that we saw more of him. He looked pretty cool. Yeah, and so... The race starts in Japan, and to be honest, the effects with lightning and everyone else driving was just so cool. It was glowy, it was neon, everything about it was just awesome. Awesome! I just, I just really loved it. Like, I literally imitated the race car sounds when I was first watching it. I was like... It was just awesome! And, and lightning, um... Lightning's engine sounded more flawless than the one from the first movie. Now, don't get me wrong. The first movie's good and whatnot. It, I, I like it. it. It can never... Cars 2 can never beat uh, Cars 1. Everything about it is just amazing. 
and Mater is in the pit, teaching Lightning all the steps that Doc Hudson taught him. But unfortunately, um, Holly Shiftwell hacked into Mater's headset and tell, told him to leave. But that's what cost Lightning the victory. Yeah, Lightning had a huge lead and he blew it. Kind of remind me of the Philadelphia 76ers blowing a big lead to the Atlanta Hawks last year. 26 point lead and I was pretty furious about that. So Lightning was fuming at Mater. He was like, I lost the race because of you. And Mater was devastated because they thought... Mater thought he lost his friendship with Lightning and I thought that was pretty sad. And and what makes it even more sadder is how Mater is trying to get is trying to book a ticket back home and on the side of him it looks like he eliminated his ninety five sign on him. It it kinda looked like he kinda wasn't friends with Lightning anymore and I thought that was pretty sad. Thimic Missile then meets Mater at the airport. But it turns out they were both followed by Grem and Acer. So Fimic Missile um, leads Mater out of the airport and then they get on this jet. And there was like a whole shootout on the airport and all that stuff. Yeah, and Mater is now an official secret agent. Okay, um, we'll continue with the plot later. Let's get on with the negative. So... Unfortunately, Lightning McQueen didn't really get a lot of screen time, and they and they made Mater the main character. Now, get, don't get me wrong, nothing's wrong with Mater. He's funny, but he's not fit to be a main character. And, and the racing and all that, it was just a subplot. It was mainly focused on secret agent stuff. And it was kind of irrelevant to Cars 2. If we were to delete Cars 2, this movie and have Cars 3 be Cars 2, then it would it would just have no effect on the plot. This movie has no effect on the Cars franchise. But that's not to say I don't like the movie. I do like the movie. The movie is okay. Um, the special effects are still good. Don't get me wrong. And all that stuff. Just, just don't get me wrong with that. Also, I did realize that Fillmore and Sheriff's voices sound a little different. I don't know if Sheriff's voice got replaced or not, but he kind of sounded a little different. Okay, let's go back to the story. Alright, so... Uh, Vader is uh, teaming up with Fimic Missile to become a secret agent... And all that stuff. But unfortunately, Grem and, Grem and Acer have this like fake camera. And then they start blowing all the racers' engines. Except for Jeff and Lewis. They stop themselves before getting into a fatal car crash. So, Lightning wins the race. And then he sees the screen. And it turns out all his racing buddies all got um, blown out. And I thought that was pretty sad. Yeah, very sad. And then the lemons start celebrating from the crashes of the new cars. And it turns out that Lightning on TV said that he'll be going to all in all. And he listens to safety and he says, if all in all is safe, that's good enough for me. And then Professor Z says... All in all, must be finished for good. Lightning cannot win the last race. Lightning McQueen must be killed. Okay. No hate on me, please, but that's kind of stupid. He has to kill him before he wins the race? Eh. Not really a good um, villain to, you know, not a good villain plot to kill. Like, you can't win a race and then... You can't kill him to uh, let Francesca win. I have no idea. So they're on this London race. And it turns out Mater was about to warn Lightning. But unfortunately, before Lightning could get there, it was Ivan. 
And then Finn, Holly, and Mather all got caught. And Mather starts having PTSD and he falls asleep. He wakes up in Big Ben in London, England. And they were about to get crushed by the clock. And Grem and Acer have the fake camera and they're supposed to go 100% power to actually kill Lightning. And when I was young in the audience, I actually thought that my boy Lightning was going to die. I was scared. But Lightning just zoomed out and the camera had no effect. Yeah. Yeah. I, I couldn't get that either. And he's like, no, you broke it. <laughs> Those two are the worst henchmen of all time. I could do better job than them blindfolded. Okay, so Mater escapes. He tries to warn Lightning and all his friends. But Finn and Holly are still stuck. But Holly um, reverses time and then they get out. And it turns out Holly can turn into a jet. And I thought the special effects on her jet was awesome. It, and it looked quite cool. So they both escape. And it turns out Mater's hood was replaced with an actual bomb. And Mater's bomb was about to explode any minute. And Lightning McQueen finds Mater. And he was happy to see him. But Mater starts driving down the London race. And Lightning goes after him. Like, it was a whole chase and everything. So Lightning eventually catches up to Mater. But Mater uses rockets to try to get away from him. But he's still holding on to it. And... Professor Z has a death ray, and when he hits the button, it's out of range. <laughs> Dr. Eggman can do a better job than this clown right here. So, Lightning and Mater zoom out of the way, and when Professor Z keeps on hitting the button, it turns out that Holly Sheftable was like, put your hands in the air. And then Professor Z tries to escape, and then Finn McMissile goes out, goes down to London to try to chase him down. So Finn McMissile catches Professor Zundep, but unfortunately there's a boat with a giant magnet that's supposed to pull them both onto it. So the boat is about to shoot Finn McMissile, but Finn McMissile has one more trick up his sleeve. He had those bombs on his tires, and he let the bombs go, and it completely explodes the boat. And I thought that was pretty cool. So Holly is chasing down Lightning and Mater, but Grim and Ace are on the other side of the road. So Holly goes around, um, hits Grim and Acer, and they're in, they're in like this thug tongue thing from the Spongebob movie. And they start beating the living crap out of the Grim and Acer characters. And <laughs> it was too funny. So all the Lemons and the Hugos caught Lightning and his friends. And then his friends start beating all the Lemons up. And I thought that was awesome. How they were to defend Lightning and Mater and Finn McMissile and Holly Shiftwell and everybody. It was just awesome. So after they beat the Lemons and the Hugos, they go over to where the Queen of England is. And all of a sudden, the guards realize that there's a bomb and then the whole city of London literally evacuates and gets out of there. So Finn and Holly eventually catch up to Lightning and Mater, and Mater thinks that um, Miles Axelrod uh, planted the bomb in Mater. Well, not actually, but he planned the whole thing with the cars exploding and the all-in-all -all and all that stuff. So Mater tries to make good points, but as soon as the bomb was about to go off, Miles Axelrod yells, Deactivate! And then the bomb actually deactivates. And then Mater... Wins the case. He he took care of business. And then Miles Axelrod is arrested. And... And then he gets dubbed in London. And I thought... Oh my god, Mater was like a true hero. So after... Lightning and Tow Mater... Have left London and then they went back to Radiator Springs... 
everyone was happy. And it turns out that Holly Shipwell has one of the dents, and she says that she's deciding to keep it because they're way too valuable. And oh my god, that was sweet. That was sweet. So after that, um, we finally they finally revealed how Lightning McQueen survived the camera shot, and it turns out that Fillmore replaced all in all with his organic fuel. Good boy, Fillmore. Good boy, you did a good job. So then after that, there was a Radiator Springs World Grand Prix. <sighs> okay. Okay. I thought that was a good ending. How they all had a big race together. And then when Finn and Holly were about to say goodbye, um, Mater was like, No, you can't, you guys can't go. And then Finn was like, We have an important mission, Mater. So, Finn says to Mater, if there's anything that you can do, just let me know. And they quoted the exact quote from um, Cars 1, where they said, why, thank you. Actually, there is one thing. And then Mater literally has these rockets, and then he joins Lightning McQueen in the Radiator Springs World Grand Prix. And then Lightning and Mater were literally ru rushing down that road, and then the plane winks, and then that's how the movie ends. So, the movie is really good. The movie is good, but not better than, the, than Cars 1. So, this movie gets a solid 7 out of 10. Fun movie, fun action, and fun racing. The special effects are great. The animation is beautiful. And the ending to Cars 2, oh my god, it was awesome. And also the credit with Collision of Worlds where Lightning and Mater are going all over the world. And I thought that was like, that, that felt like a Sonic and Tails friend relationship type. And, and... Oh my god, I didn't want to leave the theater without seeing the credits. Oh my god, that was awesome. So Cars 2, 7 out of 10, fun movie. If you have kids, I bet you'd... If you had kids, then they will really love this movie. If you have little siblings like a little sister or little brother, they will really love it. Even as a teenager, I still love this franchise. So... That was Cars 2, so in the future I hope I'll review Cars 3. Hopefully I'll get to that soon. Um, stay tuned, and thanks for watching, and God bless each and every one of you. Goodbye.